Hello, church. I hope you had some time yesterday to think about Jesus' interaction with that Samaritan woman. Today, we get to hear more of their conversation. Listen for what for Jesus telling us exactly who he is. John 4, 16 through 26. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come back. The woman answered him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You're right in saying I have no husband, for you've had five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you say that the place where people must worship is Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews, but the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeks such as these to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, uh, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. We get the rest of the story on this adulterous woman. Five husbands plus one man she's just living with. It's easy to blame her as some kind of a sleazy woman, but the truth, the truth is likely a lot more complicated. She's likely been cast aside by five different men and is now just living with one to have some means of support and shelter. Can you imagine the shame that she feels, the brokenness? It's very likely that she's been cast aside by these men because she couldn't have children. She clearly has religious knowledge, suggesting, suggesting she has at some point in her life been really seeking God. Jesus and the woman have a little Jew-Samaritan back and forth appropriate to the day, questions about where you're supposed to worship, Jerusalem and Mount Zion or Samaria and Mount Gerizim. Jesus says, actually, we're both wrong. True worshipers will worship in spirit and truth. And then he says of this woman, the Father seeks such as these to worship him. Could it be that God seeks wicked, half-breed, throwaway people like this woman to worship him? Yes, yes, it could. Perhaps the church should seek out these Samaritan women to see what we might learn. Let's pray together. Lord, teach us to be bold like the Samaritan woman, to ask our hard questions, to engage with our Savior, and to listen to what he tells us. In the name of Jesus, amen.